welcome to my new office slash gym. Come on in, I'm going to show you what I put together. I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> so, this is the reason why I have set this whole contraption up. Uh, you may have seen some of this information online or other people doing this, but the daunting statistic really hit me. Sitting is killing us. Oh. The lack of sed you know, the sedentary lifestyle, lack of moving lifestyle that we're living today is literally killing us. And there's a statistic that you may have heard. There's a study done by nearly a million people, and that was the, the subject group. It was over a couple of years, and they actually decided that through all of that research, the, the final statistics are that sitting for six or more hours a day is the equivalent of smoking 17 cigarettes. <coughs> I don't know about you, but that hit me right here. And then I started thinking, well, you know what else? I have a really bad back. So a lot of the pain that I was incurring was also from probably sitting at a 90 degree angle. So I noticed that I would go get the, an amazing massage. I'd go to, get, go to yoga. I'd go for a great workout. And it still wasn't enough. My back was still hurting. The moment I sat down, my hips were at a 90 degree angle. I thought, you know what, there's something to this, this whole sitting thing, right? And so, of course, I've been working with chiropractors all of my life. But I've noticed the biggest difference in one week of this with my lower back pain reducing pretty significantly and being able to do some really cool, crazy things in yoga. And one of the top reasons, by the way, for employers that, that we actually got in disability is because of back pain. And 80% of us suffer it at least one point in our lives. So it's pretty substantial. So I wanted to show you this because the very first day I did this, it was six hours I worked. And without even knowing, and here I am walking about two miles an hour, I was walking about two, eh, one and a half, two miles an hour just to get a feel for this, and I burned 700 calories without even thinking about it. I was super hungry, my back started to feel great, and my legs felt really strong, and I also noticed a significant reduction in my back pain. So come on in, I'm going to show you what I did, because I spent probably a total of two weeks, not every hour of two weeks, but I spent a long time, I probably put in about two full days work of research to put all of this together. And the reason I'm bringing this to you today is because I want to save you that time because I really wish that somebody would have guided me because I looked through so many different articles and the information was all over the place from people using cinder blocks and phone books, which are things that you could do too, um, to trying different desk setups and treadmill bases. So I'm going to bring you a lot of awesome information today. I'm going to save you two full days, which is probably, I don't know how much your time is worth, but let's just say, you know, it's a hundred bucks an hour. and. If you spent 16 hours, that's $1,600 of work that you will just now save by look, looking at the spreadsheet that I'll email to you if you put your information below at the end of this video. And, of course, I'm not going to send you spam or anything like that. So, the other thing is, is that this whole getup saved me $700 because I shopped the right places and asked a ton of questions. So, let's go through the steps here. Step one is to make sure that you are going to be able to stand and do this. Because a lot of people buy this stuff and then they do nothing with it, right? So the idea is that you want to experience first what it's like standing all day long and working at your computer. So what I have done is I've got all this brand new equipment and I actually didn't do that because I knew for myself I would definitely want to walk. So I bought the desk and the treadmill separately from two different companies. Why did I do that? Because there are some companies that actually sell the treadmill base which is from Lifespan, and then they also have a desk attached to that. It's one of the top sellers on Amazon right now. But I did not like the look of that desk. I also didn't like having to adjust everything with little arms, and there wasn't the ability to raise up and down like this arm allows you to it without being like inch increments. This one allows you to up and down and stop, and as you can see, nothing is really shaking. I mean, I have this on my printer. You could set this up however you want. But up and down does not take too much time. It's probably about a total of 30 seconds to bring this thing up and down. So you can stand and just practice that first before you buy the treadmill base, just to make sure you're gonna be okay standing, right? And myself, I'm pretty fit, so I can handle this all day long. And maybe the transition for you is you just try standing first. So that's step one, is what I recommend. Get a stand-up desk, just to make sure you're gonna be okay with that. And a lot of people I suggest trying to stand up for maybe a couple hours a day. Work your way into it, stand up, kneel down, stand up, kneel down. Now I'm gonna show you this chair and I'm gonna show you a couple of options first before I bring it into the treadmill and then show you all the equipment. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, so let's pretend that there is no treadmill down here. This is a stand-up, this is like an ergonomic, kind of a tempur if you will, foot pad. So they call these um, fatigue mats so that you can stand on them and there's a memory foam. As you can see when I put my fingers here, it's a memory foam. So if you don't yet have the treadmill base, this is one thing that you can do. Although when I am standing and I t give myself a break, I put this on my treadmill and I stand. So it's a lot more comfortable and it's not putting so much pressure on all my vertebrae and all my other joints. Now I'm going to show you the next option, which is a kneeling chair. Okay, now I'm on the kneeling chair. Now it looks like I'm either a midget or I just need to crank this table down, right? So all I'm going to do is I've got the kneeling chair here, is I'm going to crank this sucker down. And it is not advisable to put this on your treadmill. I'm just doing this right now to show you. But if this is another alternative and you didn't have your treadmill desk or treadmill base just yet, you can kneel on this and this is another option. So instead of sitting in a chair, as you can see my hips, they're not at 90 degrees. So it's even more of an opening for my hip flexors. So that's one of the things that contributes to a lot of back pain is tight hip flexors. The kneeling chair really helps me with that. And I've been using this chair for about a year now and it actually helped a lot to relieve, relieve some of my back pain. So here's the thing that you can do. So once you're done kneeling, just move this thing out of the way if you wanna get back onto your treadmill, place it onto this side, crank your desk up all the way, and then you can hit start back on your treadmill again, and it'll bring you back to the same exact speed, and you put this in your settings so that it'll bring you back to the very same speed that you were on last time that you hit pause. And notice that up here is actually tracking all of your statistics. So I've actually, since I've been recording this video, I've gone a quarter of a mile already just talking to you guys. And you put in all of your statistics into the online software so it can actually track how many calories that you burn based on your age and your weight, etc., and your height. So all of this gets input into the system and you could store it and then you can compare what you've done in the last couple of weeks. So I really like the fact that I'm able to track this and I have an idea of, by the end of the day, I'm normally pretty hungry now because I've been walking so much during my work and I don't feel the pressure of needing to go to the gym because I've kind of done a lot of work today. I've run, you know, walked seven and a half miles. It's a lot of miles. And so you can multitask, which is I know what we love to do in America. The other thing is that what they were saying in the statistics and the research that I'm going to include below in the article that you can go to the, on the, the um, link that we're providing, it even talks about how we work so long, so many hours, the average American is sitting like 10 hours a day. And then we go work out for two hours and they think that we're reversing all of the damage and the stress by sitting idle all day long. We wonder why we have cancer so much. We're, our lymph isn't moving, we're not moving our blood flow, so if we do have toxins, they just sit in this big cesspool and can't flush out of our body. So this enables us to get moving and walking because we obviously have a problem in America with three out of four people in America being obese or overweight. So America, get moving. And so here are just a few of the things that I wanted to bring to your attention. What I did in all the research that I did before is you need to decide how wide your base is going to be. How wide is your desktop going to be? So what I did on, on um, I did the research on Amazon. What I don't recommend is I don't recommend you buying this base from Amazon because they sent me the wrong thing and I actually had to go directly through the base, comp the, um, the desk company to get the right thing. So what I do recommend is buying it direct from the company. And the company is actually, this is a $479 base. And then I went to Ikea. This is the spreadsheet that I'd like to share with you. I went to Ikea and just bought this desktop. And this desktop was the width that I prefer, 47 by 23. The crankable desk is from Mod Table, And I just recommend you get it straight from Mod Table. You're probably gonna get a better deal anyway, but you can do the research on the links that I provided to you. And then the treadmill base, of course, going directly through lifespan. If you have any issues, definitely a better warranty than any other company that I've researched going directly through the company, which you can purchase. Now, if you do want to have a wider desk space, this desk opens up. It goes really wide. And I can't remember the exact statistic. You can look at all the measurements by going on the particular links I'm going to send to you. So that it's probably going to be around four feet at least to be able to have a desk, a kneeling chair that I showed you, and a treadmill base. So that way you can just you know, move everything over, get something like this, which is a crankable movable armed, and this is a two-way armed second screen monitor. Now this is also something, a link that I'm going to provide so that you guys can 
This is the best one I've ever seen. It's an LG. It's super clear. And what I did, and I made a mistake, is I bought the first one, didn't have the mounting brackets on the back. So there's no way to mount this. And I, it was super low. The idea with this screen, the second screen, your main screen, is that when you're looking at the screen, you're looking directly at the very top of it. So I can adjust this by using this little crank to bring it up or down, but I want to be looking directly at the very top of it. This is the perfect ergonomic for your, your the height of the screen. So I can push it back, bring it a little bit closer. I like it about right here. And then where you want your arms is you want to bring this up just a little, little bit. This is about like a 200 pound base. You could put 200 pounds of stuff on top of it. I want my elbows to be about a 90 degree angle. So just a little bit higher. Perfect. So this is a really great working station with, I've got this ergonomic keyboard and I had it lifted so that my hands are not in an arthritic state. We're not crammed in like this, like a laptop provides. So it's actually a little bit wider and my hands are more of a handshake um, position. And then the same thing with the mouse. The mouse is in a handshake position, so I'm not having to turn my arm in because the more we turn our arms in, the tighter that our chest will be, the tighter that our heart's going to be. We can't get as much air through our lungs. We can't pump as much blood from our heart to all of the areas that our body needs. So that actually keeps our, our shoulders open and our heart expanded forward. So it's a perfect ergonomic position. So all of these things considered, our hips are straight and not at a 90 degree angle. Our wrists are straight and perfect instead of being cranked to the inside and having this because we're evolving into these kinds of humans. Open it up, get it ergonomic, hands are comfortable looking up, and then you also have this nice little pad for your wrists. People are always asking me the same question too. Is it hard to look at the screen? Is it hard to type? I don't get dizzy when I go to the gym and I'm on those bouncy ones. That's when I get dizzy when there's a, a screen in front of me. I have to turn that TV off. But this one is so easy because you're just walking. It only goes up to four miles an hour anyway. And I'm just looking straight. It's very, very, very easy to type. I don't even notice it. And also you can tell I'm not that out of breath right now. So I even record my radio shows on this and have client calls all day long and no one can tell the difference. Although the other day someone did ask me if I had a little chihuahua barking in the background. So I think it's because I was kind of doing this with my feet <laughs> and I was sliding my feet. The other thing is if you are an artist and you're doing any kind of freehanded things, I do notice that I do have to turn it down to about a speed of 1.5 so I can write without being really messy. So I think that covers the majority of the questions that most people have been asking me. Um, but the biggest thing about this is it's super duper healthy and I've got multiple screens and all the different things that, that I can do are all right at my fingertips and in front of me. Now watch what happens when I hit stop. This stops very slowly. And then all of the things are tracked up here. So during this video, I have just walked almost a half a mile and burned about 38 calories. We burn about 70 calories not doing anything. So when we're just sitting at our office, we burn 70 calories, which require is what is required for things like breathing and digestion. And when you're doing this walking, I found that I've been burning 200 calories an hour. So if you're walking just a speed of two or so, then two, two miles an hour that is, you're gonna burn like an extra 130 calories an hour. I don't know about you, but that's just total multitasking and that saves me a lot of time. And just at the end of the day, I'm like, I don't wanna to go to the gym. I don't have time, I'm just tired, right? So here I am, I'm gonna hit start. I want you guys to see what four miles an hour looks like. Because one of the other hesitancies that I had is I thought is, is, you know, four miles an hour, that's so slow. But for some reason, this treadmill, when I walk at four miles an hour, it feels like I'm actually going more like five. So this thing is pretty quick. I don't know anyone who's gonna be able to type at this rate, but you can certainly watch YouTube videos or have, you know, maybe if you're doing a um, webinar and you're just viewing it, you can get your go on it. It's almost like even a jog. You could even get at a jog at this pace. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it back down to two. And if you want, you could put your feet on the outside of this and just bring it back down to two. And I also turned, I deactivated the beeps on this, so you could actually do that too in the programming. Okay, so let's just hit stop, pause. I'm gonna crank this thing back down so you guys can see what that looks like. We're pretty much done. The only other couple things that I wanted to show you were that you can buy, and what's gonna save you a lot of money, you could buy a wider one of these tops anywhere, which is why I suggest you just buy this base bottom 
and then you can get this in any color up to 72 inches wide and it could actually be even deeper. So check all the specs of this, you have a ton of options. The other reason I like this desk among others, first of all, it's gonna save you about 300 bucks. I opted, I did not want the electric one because I know that comes with a lot of problems. I'm an electrician's daughter. I know there's a lot of problems with electricity if things go wrong and there's only so long the warranty lasts. This desk you can do a lot of things with. With many of the desks I looked at, there was a second beam that went about here, which would have crossed into your treadmill base. So if you're doing a stand-up desk and you want the option of having the treadmill base, I would definitely get this one. This one by far had the best reviews on Amazon. It was like 85 stars. 85 stars is what I mean like by that. And this is it's just been something really remarkable for me. You could always take this out and put it somewhere else. It's not gonna get in your way. This one's the longer one, but you can have a shorter one and you can have, you can move this so this thing is out of your way. But I think I pretty much covered it all. All of this stuff is super ergonomic. You could do this in your bikini. You could do this in a work outfit. People are always asking me, oh, well, you know, don't you get really sweaty? But not if you're going like two miles an hour. Just make sure that your shoes are really comfortable and that you are going at a comfortable rate for you. Um, I don't recommend doing this if you have a major heart condition already. I would definitely talk to a doctor. But especially for employers, this is going to increase productivity for your employees. And if it's just for you, like me, I spent about $1,800 total on all of this. But you can get away with spending a little bit less if you don't need the treadmill base, let's just say, and you wanted to start slow. You can get this for $500. Bucks, and then you could work your way up into adding all the other things. Because all of like the second screen and all the ergonomic keyboards and trays and everything, that cost me about 300 bucks. The desk was about 500, including the top, and the treadmill base was 1,000. So over time, you can work your way into doing this, and you could also finance it over a credit card or whatever. So whatever you need to do, this is just something that I think that we need to get moving and keep moving because we are actually losing time off of our life by sitting. In fact, the last statistic that I'll leave you with is for every one hour that we're sitting, we're actually shaving 22 minutes additional time off of our life, whereas one cigarette is 11 minutes. So one hour of sitting is actually doing more damage to you than smoking one cigarette different kind of stress, but it's still killing us. So America, let's get moving. If you want any information on this, please just give me your email below and I'll send everything over to you. You can ask me any questions that you'd like. So thanks for watching Wellness Warriors and let's all get moving together.